Hello all YouTubers and jailbreak fans out there. <clears throat> Today I will be showing you how to jailbreak the new iOS 10.3.3. And uh, first off, as you can see, uh, I'm not jailbroken and I do not have Cydia. And I am running iOS 10.3.3. Now this works for any version of iOS 10 on any device. Uh, it's a software exploit, so hardware doesn't matter. As long as it's iOS 10, then it, uh, you can use this to jailbreak it, including iOS 10.3.3 that I'm going to show you now. Uh, simply start up your Safari browser and go to this address, pangu10.mobile. And here they will explain how it works. And they will explain that you can't install Cydia on a device that has not been jailbroken. But you can, of course, install apps that Apple has approved. Now the Pengu team simply hid the jailbreak inside of an approved application. So the result is that you get an approved application that you can install, and the jailbreak and the application has the jailbreak and CDN hidden inside of it. So when you start this application, you also start the jailbreak process and the installation of CDA in the background. At the same time. So go to penguin10.mobile and then scroll to the bottom and click here to get to the free injected apps store. And here they will tell you that Apple sometimes patches these jailbreak injected apps. So if it doesn't work on the first first try, uh, just try again with a different app. And they usually change the random app you get every few minutes or so. And uh, new apps are added all the time. So if, if it's for some reason didn't work the first time, simply come back. Um, if you get the same app, just wait a few minutes and try again. So anyway, click here to get to the random jailbreak injected app. For some reason, you have to install it twice most of the time. I have no, no idea what that, why that is, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't affect anything negative, negatively. I will show you what I mean shortly. Now, of course, all of these jailbreak injected apps are 100% free. Uh, there are no stupid content lockers, there are no service, there are no credit cards or any of that bullshit. Just free direct downloads of jailbreak, jailbreak injected apps. Looks like I only had to download it once this time. Anyway. Um, right now, the jailbreak is being installed in the background. So we need to keep the app open for about 30 seconds or so to give the jailbreak time to install itself on Cydia. And I think that should be enough. Now we are simply going to restart our devices by first powering them off. And once it's powered off, we simply turn it back on again. And while the phone is starting up, we, we will see pretty soon if the jailbreak worked or not. Um, if this app has been patched, uh, meaning if this jailbreak fails now, then it means that that app has been patched then there is no reason to try that particular app again. Either the, work, either the app works right away, or it has been patched and it will never work. And now it's preparing the system files and finalizing the installation of the jailbreak in Cydia. 
So yeah, this is a sign that it worked. Shouldn't take too long. Almost there. Little pangu icon, and now we have Syria. And yes, this is a untethered jailbreak, and it's a fully untethered jailbreak, no semi, semi, or any crap like that. This is a full untethered jailbreak for iOS 10.3.3. Uh, and all of the iOS 10 versions. Um, so, if you like my video, please do comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.